Um, Fiorentina versus Lazio, Martin. Oh, well, hang on a second. Big man just called Bale trash. Big yeah. man, what the... Oh, what yeah, the... he's not trash. He's just having a... Ba- oh, I love Bale. He's the best player in Wales. Who cares? Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's like saying I'm the best player he in Albania. Was, Who cares? He's great. What are you talking about? I love Bale. I he's just having a bad season. Give me this guy any day. Give me this guy any day. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, Fiorentina versus Lazio, Martin. I've got a couple of things that I like the look of here. Lazio, what has happened with Lazio? They have been on fire lately. Have you seen the way they've been playing? I've watched highlights of their games. They just beat Sampdoria 7 3, beat Roma 3 1 in the local derby, and before that, they beat Palermo 6 2. They've been quite a solid defensive side all season, but they seem to have just abandoned that towards the end of the season. And they've been rewarded. They've shot to fourth, um, playing, playing very, very well. So. I think Fiorentina haven't won in their last two games, haven't been particularly good of late, lost to Palermo, no less. Um, So the odds on a Lazio win here look very interesting to me. I found 3.38 on a Lazio win, so I want to go with that. And I also like the over 3.5 goals in this match at 2.1. Wow, so going in with the value. Hey, listen, now Stuart is is good at finding that value. Are you on the same page as Martin? Yep, Lazio win, and uh, just checking the odds now, you can get 3.44 with Pinnacle. So uh, that is a really, really good set of odds for Lazio win. Wow, so both going there for that Lazio win. Uh, what are we in now? Um, so I advise, I advise uh, the, our, our friends uh, to, uh, to, be, uh, to, to go with draw, draw no bet uh, with a bigger stake on that. Lazio all the way, but a smaller stake on Lazio and bigger stake on uh, the draw no bet option. Yeah. Wise advice, if, if you've got good value, there's there's often value then to play the uh, draw no bet as a safer option. Um, that's why, but that's why to, to jump into the deep so end. so far in front because he goes big on these long odds and, you know. Yeah, I know. It, it does all right, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, next we've got a Torino Napoli, uh, Stuart. No, I'm not on that one. I'm, I'm on that one. You're on the, on the sheet, you are. Torino, somebody must have moved. Somebody must have added something or something's changed. Who else? Because, so, uh, okay, Alex is on Torino Napoli. Let me go through what else. I should be on. No? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm on Torino Napoli. Random, yes. <laughs> okay. So, Alex, what are you going for, Torino Napoli? <clears throat> I think that Napoli is a must win for them. They are just one point uh, behind the Roma. Roma uh, will play, will have to play against Juventus. Uh, so, they have all the reasons to hope uh, for the second place at the end of the season. So they will push uh, for this uh, for the win in this match. Napoli minus one on the Asian handicap at one point eight five. Okay, Sampdoria, uh, Sampdoria, Kievo, Stuart. Yes, now we're now we're talking crazy. Um, <laughs> You're wrong in the uh, the wrong the yes in the wrong box. Yes, it was in the wrong box. Um, two teams fairly close to each other in the league. And uh, not particularly good records, but I'm on the away side on this one simply because of the value available. You can get 4.75 with Bet Victor for this. And uh, that would be a nice little winner. Okay. Mm, Roma versus Juventus. Big man, Alex. Big man, what have you got? Yeah, uh, I'm having a little trouble here because according to ESPN FC, uh, it's being reported that Eden Dzeko is not playing in this game. Uh, he's out of the game. Uh, so if that's the case, I'm not finding it anywhere else, though. Um, listen, there's three weeks to the Champions League uh, final. Um, for me, it's plenty of time for them to win the league. Their worry at this point is winning Serie A. Will they draw or win here? They will do that. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, look, Jacko being out, he's the best goal scorer in uh, Serie A. I think that clearly helps uh, Juve here. Uh, draw no bet mm-hmm. at plus 105 at 2.05. I'll take a shot with that. Um, I also, for those uh, people that can bet this, two or three goals exactly in this game at uh, even money looks interesting as well. I just don't think we see uh, more than three. I think this is a, a 2-1 game uh, at, at most. So uh, I'll go Ju- Uve, draw no bet here. Yeah. Do you think Roma can score? Uh, no. Don't but want to they, bet, don't they, want to they, not. They, they probably not, not they, they probably will somehow, but it's going to be difficult. If Jekko doesn't play, that's – I mean, that's huge. That's a huge part yeah. out for them. Mm-hmm. So I'll say 2 nil Juve. All right. What are you going for, Alex? I'm going with a classic. Both teams to score in the over 2.5 at 
I think that Roma will score even uh, without uh, Jacob being uh, in the starting 11. Yes, it's true that he's the top scorer of the Serie A and so on. But uh, Roma have really big, uh, uh, um, they have really good skills in their midfield. And uh, that uh, with a little bit of relaxing mode from Juventus that will uh, celebrate their title uh, either this week, but I don't think so. But for sure next week home against Crotone. I think mm -hmm. that we can see at least one goal from Roma. And uh, who knows, uh, they might take uh, at least one point uh, from, uh, from, this, uh, from this match. So, but I'm going with both into score and the over 2.5 at 2.1. At hey, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and Juve obviously comfortable lead there. Um, so you, if you were to play the outrights, you think it's more likely to be a draw, or you're, yeah, you're a, just a draw, a draw at least a draw. If not Roma to win, at least a draw because Juventus are way up in the standings, and yeah. they have uh, they have really easy schedule in the next two matches with Crotone and uh, the last match. I don't remember with uh, right now, but for sure that they will take the three points home with Crotone. They are coming after qualifying in the Champions League final. They will be on the relaxing mode after the champagne opened uh, in that match. For sure, it will be another match. So Roma uh, can, can do the, the trick here and take advantage of that. Uh, hey. So they, we might see a winner from Roma. Hey, Alex. You want to give me five to yes. one that Roma won't score here? I'll take that. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you tomorrow. I will concentrate to give you some really good score, odds tomorrow. Uh, Fifty-year-old Francesco Totti. Is he going to score in this game? Come on, man. So, Totti Daniel is a legend. De Rossi. Of course, Totti he's a legend. legend. But he's sixty Ronaldo, years old. Ronaldo is nothing compared to Totti. Trust me on that. Uh, listen, I know I followed Italy football my whole life, but listen, <laughs> we'll talk tomorrow. I got a bet for you on this game. If you want, I'm all. I'm always willing. All right, so our first okay. bet battle match has been decided. Roma versus Juventus tomorrow. I wonder what these two will come up with. Okay, 